Well, here we are, back again, everybody. This is Alon Paul. Next episode of my permadeath no HUD challenge. As you can see, the HUD is always popping up every time I turn around. Yes, we're going to apply that. Okay, permadeath no HUD challenge yet again. So we are literally four hours and seven minutes into this, and we're not finding what we need. So we're going to keep going for a little while longer here. Um, which way is the... Okay, there's the planets. That was weird looking. Okay, we're going to head this way and keep going and see if we can find something. It's nighttime, so it's going to be a little more difficult here. Local time, okay. Let's see how well we can do here. So, yeah, so it's been a little over a week. Uh, in case you all didn't know, I am in Kentucky, and we're experiencing, or are going to be experiencing, more storms today. It's the 31st of March when this episode was made. Don't know whether you saw that in the details or not. But we are going to probably be going through storms yet again. Uh, wind storms that are going to be in the gale force category, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see, that looks like plants. I don't see much out this way, but we're going to keep going. You never know, we're in the hopes of stuff. I may start picking up more items along the way. I mean, the bottom line is here, if we could find a ship, even if we find a landing platform... We really have succeeded at that point. Think about it. Because then all we need to do is gather up materials to get the ship going, or to purchase the ship that we need. So, we'll see how this goes. Now you'll notice I don't have any music playing in the background this time. I've, I decided to hold off on it this time. Not quite in the mood for it right now. Looks like we got a ridge here we're running along. Okay, we'll run along the ridge and go up to that peak on the left. And keep panning around, because you never know, there might be something out there. We're just running right past. Uh, okay. That just looks like another, uh, whatchamacallit, broken machinery. That's about it. Get some more of the phosphorus. You never know you might need it, as we've always said. Okay. And we'll grab these for the sake that we will use it for our health. Speaking of which, how we doing? Eh, looks like you could use a boost. Eh, looks like you can use a boost. And why not? Let's just go ahead and... There we go. Keep it going. You know how much I was forgetting last time I was playing, so... Alright, so that's the peak we're heading for. Alright. Well, yeah, hopefully we don't lose power this time. Hopefully the electricity stays with us. Actually, it's blowing pretty hard out there right now. Fortunately, most of our utilities are underground, but there's still certain areas that do that do not have it underground, and got some pretty tall trees around here. So let's see what happens. All right, that is most likely another piece of broken machinery. Take a look over this way. Yeah, you know, sometimes nighttime is a good time to find certain things, but other times it can be really difficult. All right, let's see. I don't see anything down that way.
Okay. We're going to be heading that direction, so let's go to the next peak over over here and take a look. Take another look. Difficult one. This one's probably the toughest one I've been in on a long time. I mean, going over four hours on any run is is tough, period. But you never know. Uh, this looks like a nice outcropping to perch on and take a peek. Got to take a close look. Sorry, I'm really focusing here. Because I keep expecting to see something sitting right there. And I don't see anything. You know what I haven't heard in a while? I haven't heard any ships flying over. Go ahead and do the old... New Man... No Man's Sky Slide. All right, so which way? Let's head to that peak over there. Let's see if we see anything. Get a little extra boost out of this one. Oh, looks like daytime is finally returning. Maybe we'll be able to see a little bit more. got spring here though that's another reason for the storms that we've been having spring has sprung and uh yeah with it comes some nasty weather once in a while especially in the states that we're in over here again i haven't seen any ships in a while it's beginning to concern me because if this turns out to be one of those planets that you know I'm used to getting ships once in a while. And when something changes, if they've had a minor update or something like that, and then suddenly the planet you're on doesn't have ships anymore, you wonder, hey, what might have happened? Okay, this isn't bringing up anything here. Over here. Take another look. Shouldn't be telling me that. But life support power is low. So we'll use up that last one there just so we can get rid of it. There we go. Okay. That peak, huh? Guess we'll head up it. See if we can take another look around. And we will look back the way we came as well. Just in case we miss something along the way. Because now we're getting to a point where we're kind of getting a little desperate. You know? Four hours of running on this planet is ridiculous. But we'll keep it, like we said, to a half hour episodes. We are not quite ten minutes in. Oh, I hear a ship. There we go, finally. And we got daytime. You let me get all the way up? No, you're not. You're going to let me painstakingly boost my way to the top like this. So, any ships that were there are gone now. Thank you for that. All right, well... Is what it is. I have no idea where they went. They're heading to the right. Okay. Uh, let's take a peek from up here. See what we got to see. Back the way we came. I do not see anything. 
Yeah, it looks like a building anyway. We can head over there and see what they got. It doesn't look like it's a sentinel one. So we might be able to get some supplies while we're there. That'll be good. Let's get up to the top peak, though. Hopefully we don't lose the building, but, you know. Huh. Look. Unburied technology yet again. How fascinating. Oof. Well, that was close. Right down the hole in the ground. Congratulations. Just trying to figure out what the heck that was. We might we might not head to that building after all. There was really nothing there. But the most it would have done is it would have allowed us to go in and look for supplies or something like that, like I said. This looks like a tall little hillock, if you will. And that's pretty. So the building was over that way somewhere. There it is. I can see the edge of it right there. So let's see what there is to see. Nothing. Yeah, I got to check and make sure we didn't break anything. It's amazing how fast life support is dropping, though. Really is amazing. Technology really? Really? Yeah, gotta love that. Alright, well, let's head towards that building, I guess. I can't think of anything to do. Other than that, it should be... Right over there. Somewhere. I think it's right over there, if I remember correctly. Anyway. Oh, quite a little boost out of that one. That was pretty good. Okay. I mean, what you hope for is that you get to this certain point and you're like, okay, we found something. But we're not really getting that here. Ha <laughs> ha Mind the gap. Alright, so where are you? There we go. That was pretty good. I had a good halfway decent sense of direction on that one. Sometimes you get fortunate that you get to one of these places and then there happens to be a ship nearby, but... I don't see anything. Anyway. Let's head in. That's a pretty good shot right there. Another ship passing over. That's good. Yeah, he's going from the wrong direction, though. All right, where's the door on this place? It's always going to be on the other side. I don't care where you stood when you started. It's going to be on the other side. Alright. Probably, uh... Oh, you've got to be joking with me. Really? Uh... Probably ammunition, I'm guessing. No, not this time. Okay. Yeah, we'll put you down there, just to 
clean things up a little bit over here just because I'm tired of looking at it. Okay. Alright, so I'm thinking that way. Where's the... Yeah, I think we're heading this way. I'd head up to the top of that mountain, but I think I'm going to keep it low over here for now. There it is. Okay, so definitely this way. We'll head up to the little mini peak over there. Let's see what we can see. Not a lot to see. I mean, the music on the on the on the on this episode isn't too shabby. It's not bad. I just landed in some vegetation. Hopefully, not poisonous. I notice there's no slappy slappies on this uh, one. The little tendril whips that smack you around. Okay. Back. Okay, good. Didn't break my ankle that time. There we go. Yeah, that hillock over there ought to do fine. I don't know why I do that. I call it a hillock. Of course they are. I wonder sometimes whether it isn't killing me. love to know how many hearts I have. I bet you it's not going to tell me, though. Let's grab one of these. Wouldn't it be amazing if you came across this hill and there was a ship right there? Not gonna happen, but we can hope. Yep, still not seeing much. see anything. Okay. There may come a point where we're going to say, guys, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to give up on this run. We're obviously not finding what we need. Oh, what do you know? I wasn't getting anything, was I? Life support module. Well, I could use one of those now, couldn't I? Yeah, look at that. That might help a little bit, right? That was a good find. Hmm. See where they're where our friends head to. We'll lose sight of them, but if they pop over the li the ridge on the left, oh, they headed to the right, so. Supposedly there might be something to the right, but I'm kind of at a point where I don't care. Okay, that's going to hurt. Anything get broken? No? Okay, good. Try to check these gullies. You might have a ship tucked away in there and you won't know it. Until you look. One more. Okay. One more. Wow, this is a long ridge. Okay. 
Okay, that looks like just a piece of machinery damaged. More animals. Plants. And the like. And we're over the top. Where do we got? Go from here. Alright. We're going to head straight away to there. I don't know what's over there, but we're going to head there anyway. Stealing from them. Off we go. I, mean, I saw something that was just like a cloud, if you will. So I wanted to see what it was. That's all. And I don't think it's anything special other than it's just a little misty in that area from the graphics, and that's about it. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything there anyway. Okay. Ridge. Let's head towards it. How we doing? Oxygen 141, okay. We will have to get more of that as we go. Let's make sure we're not missing something. Nope, okay, good. You know, at some point the boots on the suit have got to wear out. Your suit, comprom your suit has been compromised. You Tom and jerry it so far, your feet are worn out. Please start walking on your knees. There we go. Okay. Go. A little more oxygen. that those guys started circling something. And then I could be like, yay! Looking behind me as well. Very hard to run like that, you know? While looking around. I'm sure you understand. Now yeah, those of you like play this anyway. And not like to watch others of us torture ourselves. So every episode I usually start pontificating. And we're at the five minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and pontificate. This time, it is not going to be about work. Or fellow employees. Um... Something happened in the last update to No Man's Sky that may have caused us problems. And you know, 
I'm a small fry when it comes to this stuff, so I'm not, I don't have a lot of followers. But if they, if someone were to listen to me, if someone were to, from Hello Games, hear this broadcast, I have a suggestion. The ability to go into our menu and change our difficulty settings, unless we lock them, of course, and make everything free is hurting all the content creators out there. The videos we do about finding credits, the videos we do about getting nanites, worthless if you just flip a switch in your menu. And by making it so easy to play, it becomes a non-entity anymore, and people don't really want to play it anymore then. So keeping that in mind, in the back of your mind, only allow that setting to be permitted in creative mode. So if they choose a creative game, everything is free and unlocked and they can do whatever they want. It is the purpose behind the creative mode by all means. Like giving them the ability to change any game setting, even permadeath, and knocking its difficulty level down to nothing unless you lock the settings yourselves makes it too easy. And then nobody has the wherewithal to want to do a more difficult game. So while this kind of game that you're seeing here, a permadeath run, no HUD challenge, is kind of a unique thing, it is going to be fewer and fewer and fewer far between. And then other content creators who have been playing No Man's Sky regularly for the past four and five and six years, they're slowly going on to other games now. Now, if that is the purpose, if that was to just make it easier, because sooner or later you're going to have your own newer game coming out, we understand. But it has hurt the community. And we're hoping that at some point someone will listen. It is not a complaint. There is a solution involved in it to make a slight change that does not allow someone to make everything free on any difficulty setting. They should only be free if they have selected creative mode from the start. And that is the only time they should be allowed to get free items. So, that is the end of my rant, and just about the end of our broadcast day for this particular episode. So I hope you liked the show. Um, yeah, I'm literally just not seeing anything. I was hoping to find something. You know, four and a half hours worth of gameplay here, and we haven't found anything. There we go. Let's go ahead and charge you back up. Let's charge you back up. Almost didn't get away in time. Hey guys. You're probably going to be heading to the right, I'm sure. Can't believe it's nighttime already, too. Did I just hurt myself again? Sure enough, and off to the right they go. Anything damaged? No, we're good. Carry on. You know, I should check my multi-tool, too. You never know. Nope. Everything's the same. Alright, so hopefully if we can find a building or a save point we can stop this, but I plan on trying to get another recording done tonight. Even though my voice is getting just a little bit worn out. That's yeah, just a plant. I thought I saw sparks from something and I'm like, ah, a ship. But no, no ship. Don't get your hopes up. Keep the hopes down for now. That way you're not disappointed. Let's go over this way. Eh, I thought about it. 
I'll collect them more when I get further down the way, but because I'm running out of inventory space, and frankly, this is getting annoying. So where are we? Literally 30 minutes right now. Let's go a few extra minutes. Let's get up the ridge. We'll stop up here if we have to. What do we got out here? Anything? Anything at all? Nothing but exploding plants. Correct? We're not seeing anything there, right? No. I see nothing. So, I think a nice shot at the end of this. I think now is a good time for... The terrible emoji. Eh, I don't have the one I'm looking for. Will he just keep going? No, he won't. Then let's just do this. And we'll just do a little quick pullback. Yes, that will be a nice picture for her. And it looks like daytime might be coming a little early. So, yeah, I wish I could say we found something, but we didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in the next episode. We'll do one more, I think, one more episode of this. We've got to give up at the five-hour mark, because that's going to have to be it. I am pretty much done with this run at this point. So let's go ahead and give it one more shot and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe. Thank you.